everybody, it's Michelle here again with Birthy Hoover. Here at Birthy Hoover, I am a full spectrum plant-based holistic doula and an advocate for all things safe, natural, and effective. Here on this channel, we discuss all things pregnancy, birth, and womb health related. So if you guys like the content, you like to share the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Today's topic is going to be about our honorable mention, Citrullus lanibus. And that is also known as watermelon, which is one of my favorite fruits. Um, I want to talk about this um, particular fruit uh, when it pertains to um, health and pregnancy and all that good stuff because it is one of the best fruits for hydration. Um, and we all know that in pregnancy, before pregnancy, after pregnancy, if you're not pregnant, whatever the case may be, your body needs to be hydrated, right? If your body is not hydrated, you are low functioning. You cannot move the minerals throughout your body. You cannot circulate blood properly. You cannot have proper brain activity. Your muscles will cramp up. Um, there will be so many issues. Your body can't remove toxins like it should. Like there's all of these different things that go on in a dehydrated body and the funny thing is the craziest thing to me is that a lot of people are living dehydrated and that is insane right um a lot of us um don't even know that we are literally walking around dehydrated all the time if your pee is any darker than a very pale yellow you are dehydrated if you are constantly getting Charlie horses, if you are cramping when you're four or five months pregnant, Braxton Hicks, you are dehydrated. Um, you know, if you wake up and your tongue is dry, you are dehydrated. Um, if your eyes are sunken in and you have kind of like a gray area, um, you're dehydrated. There's If your hair is dry, if you have scalp issues, if you're always flaking off dandruff, you are dehydrated. Um, so it's really important to um, get hydration. And I know a lot of people don't like water and I don't understand that. But if you don't like watermelon, I cannot trust you, first of all. Because watermelon is amazing and it is so tasty and it's sweet when you get it, you know, the right season and it's, you know, it was picked at the right time. I absolutely love watermelon. It is a easy um, and accessible and fantastic way to get your body hydrated quickly. It is 92% water um, and it fuels you. It has so many minerals in it. So that's what we're going to talk about real quick. So the amount of minerals um, and vitamins that is in watermelon is freaking amazing, right? Let me hit one real quick. So, so good. Mm, I'm sorry. So, I love um, watermelon for pregnant women um, because it just gives your body a lot more um, lubrication. It helps you with cramping. Um, so, that's, you know, even in labor, um, being dehydrated is going to cause extra uh, painful contractions, right? So, um, also, not only does water about to have so much water content, um, it is packed with potassium, which is also, um, cramp reducing. Um, you can find vitamin C, which is so great for the immune system, so great for the skin. Um, and it's also a mineral that helps absorb other minerals, right? Um, and then you're finding vitamin A in it, and that's so healthy for your eyes, right? It's good for your heart. Amino acids helps um, move blood uh, through your body circulation and it regenerates your cells. So it every time you eat a cup of watermelon, you are um, putting new cells back in your body. You are fueling your body. You are getting rid of old free radicals, old dead cells, removing those toxins out of your body and you're creating new cells, right? And that's what we need because when we're building a baby or even in our own you know, regular normal lives, we need to continue to regenerate cells, right? We we are made up of a billion, quadrillion cells. So we have to keep on 
producing new healthy cells. Watermelon, amazing for that. Um, so it's just so like I, I it's so much stuff. Um, B six. Um, it's so many things that watermelon can do. I'm just like it's 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 almost hard for me to like go down the list because it's so many things, right? Um, it's great for your skin. Um, it's great for keeping you lubricated in your your vaginal area, right? So if you suffer with um vaginal dryness or even sex drive, I've seen that it can help with that. Um, watermelon is so great that if you eat enough of it, you don't need sunscreen, right? So, I mean, you got to eat this fruit like it's heaven. It's like the, the earth has given us this fruit and said, here is everything you need in the little red square, right? Um, but I just really love that um, it, it, it really just gives you what you need. And a lot of people, like I said, don't like the idea in their brain of drinking um a gallon of water a day so you can supplement you can sub like you can take away a lot of that gallon and eat high water content foods and watermelon is one of the best because it has so many other properties in it um it's so helpful for a ton of things so in pregnancy right all of those things that i mentioned the vitamin a the vitamin c the um the blood circulation the eye health the um you know the 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 muscle toning all of that stuff trickles down to your baby right if it's helping your eyes it's helping your baby's eyes if it's helping your heart it's helping the baby's heart right if it's helping your immune system then it's helping the baby's immune system it's great for gut health also because it has um i don't know how to pronounce this it's like life and life lifening or life saving it's a word that I can't really pronounce right now. I, I know it when I see it. I can pronounce it if I see it, but I can't. But you get you get the drift. Um, but it has that in it, and that is also great. You know, for just so it's just so much stuff that watermelon is just amazing for. And I just feel like who doesn't eat watermelon? Like when I I've heard like maybe two people in my life like, oh watermelon. I don't like watermelon or watermelon is nasty to me. And I'm like. You gotta be, you gotta be joking because it's watermelon. Like, who doesn't like watermelon? It's crazy. Um, also, uh, tips for what you can do with the watermelon, right? You can add not salt, please. I know so many people that do that and it just defeats the purpose because salt is going to dehydrate the body, right? So you don't want to add salt. But you can add things like key lime which is amazing, right? Um, and that gives you even more boost of minerals and um, immune system help and all of that good stuff. Um, but that is an amazing way that I like to eat it. I like to sprinkle a little key lime juice on it. Uh, but you can like, um, like scoop it out with an ice cream scooper and put it in, you know, like little cups like this and put it in the freezer and make it as a water ice. You can put it as a smoothie. Um, you could juice it. I mean, watermelon is so versatile. You can make popsicles. Like, it's, you can do so many different things, but if it's so amazing, the fruit is just so amazing and it's just tasty. And I think it's, it's so useful and beneficial for the body. It helps clean and detox the wound. Um, and it's, it's a body cleanser and, and as a whole. Um, it, it removes toxins. Like I said, hydration is the key, 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 key to everything um, going on in our bodies because we have to move all of the stuff and all of the blood and all of the liquid and the minerals and everything through our bodies. We have to be hydrated, right? Um, but all of this is also good for baby, right? One more, one more. Um, so, I hope this was helpful um like i said i know that i'm probably super hyped because i love watermelon i can't wait to just eat this whole bowl up um but yeah please eat the watermelon if you are pregnant if you are trying to get pregnant if you just had a baby um and you're you know your postpartum recovery now this food is not super great because it is a cooling food maybe towards the tail end of your postpartum healing start to eat watermelon maybe like day 30 right Start to eat room temperature watermelon, right? Why I say room temperature is because our body has to work hard to get that cold refrigerated food down to a temperature that we can digest. And you don't want to overwork your body after you just had a baby, right? So let it sit out. 
heat it at room temperature um, and let it do what it do because this is just an amazing fruit and who doesn't like it, right? So again, my name is Michelle. I'm a, a full spectrum holistic doula with Murthy Hoora. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you want to talk more about watermelon, um, if you want to drop your tips on how you eat watermelon or if it's helped you or whatever the case may be, please reach out. Um, or drop your comments. You can always reach me at birthyhoover at gmail.com for any additional questions or anything you want me to talk about. And I will see you guys for the next video. Peace and pregnancy dust.